I have gone on to the YouTube stats that they give you now to see what people who watch my videos search for. Uh, number like two or three, it's like Critical Role or uh, How to Play D&D, and number one is ASMR. Can't, we can't, we can't actually. We can't actually do this. Wow. We're not gonna do <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you Christ. asleep yet? Hey everybody, we are doing another unboxing video of this Beetle and Grimms here, which is super awesome. They were so kind to send this to us and uh, we're super happy to do this video. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is for Spelljammer Adventures in Space. Uh -huh. You know, last time we did this, it was for Wild Beyond the Witchlight and yep. that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and this time it's Spelljammer and uh, we've also got 100% more baby. Look at it. <laughs> it? <laughs> she's, not li she's not liking that. Uh... Wait, oh, so she really wants the funny. cup. On the down camera, she looks... <laughs> <laughs> Turn Peep. up. I love you. You're I love not, you. You are not yeah. a family channel. Sorry, no. get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. You have to exist here, but we're not going to profit off of you. Here you go. That's gross. So if you hear her, she uh, refused to go to bed, so... This is how it's going to be. It is. Basically, what all of this is, is it's a bunch of tools and props and minis and maps and things that you can use for your game for a long time. I've, I've loved Beetle and Grimms and mm -hmm. it's really cool that like we get to work with like this is a product I really genuinely love. So even though this is obviously very sponsored, uh, I I wouldn't do it if I didn't like it. And I freaking love Beetle and Grimms. Yes. Um, so seriously, go check it out to make some cool stuff. So first of all, first off, we've got this like, it's called Dead, Dead Hands Dice. It's got like this little cup and like a rubber band where like are you scared? Yeah. <laughs> Help. And but it has like rules. little rules. I guess it's like a game in Spelljammer, which is pretty neat. And it has these dice. You could play Yahtzee with those. You could play Yahtzee with those. So I these are the, it's the best part. Minis. Uh -huh. And Beetle and Grimms just Ooh. sends you a bunch of them. So what we're gonna do is just try to guess what all of this is. This is Rhino from Spider-Man. <laughs> I think you're right. Rhino from Spider-Man is definitely his name. His name's Brax at. That's the fish from Finding Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this is a void scaver. Ew! That, Who that is this nefarious fellow? What do you think it is? It's going to be nothing what it's describing itself to be. All right. This is a strange space creature. Oh, tentacle guy. It's not. It's going to be. <sighs> tentacle guy. It's Artuk Elder, fool. Wow. wow, that's super cool. Whoa, Elmandar star charts, that's so cool. realm space. Wow, that's really cool. Four that's days really to neat. travel from sun. From the sun? <laughs> oh, is it? Is it like a ship? That's the so cool. Star moth. Dude, that's what it's called. this is also three maps. Oh my god. Okay, well we can like, they're and they're reversible, right? So yeah, it should be. They yeah. have two sides, and the other side is. Man, There's what? There's a tree on it. That's so what cool. the heck? This is so cool. Whoa! Oh, the Rock of That's Brawl. So this is just so cool to like throw out to your players. We've been playing Witchlight and it's really cool whenever Colton like whips out one of these maps. It's so cool to like see it and it's like full size. Mm -hmm. Man, it's just really awesome. Hammerhead. 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 Dang, and it's got like the interior too. That's so cool. The Edge. It looks like a restaurant. I think it's a casino. Yeah, I took him to the Edge last night. What, yourself? My, me? <laughs> yeah, I I took myself to the edge last night. <laughs> Is this a beach? I don't think so. See, that's the other side to it, and you can put it together. And it, it, oh. it looks like, I don't know, it looks it's like Coliseum to me. Vol Volcats Arena? Yeah, it's an arena. 
That's cool. And see, it's like space right here. Whoa! This is just, it's just a, space for space combats. This is like Arcane Arcade. This is like, what like our, this our, wall, our right wall right there, which is pretty cool. Whoa! Whoa. What the heck? It says uh, Temple of Light. Temple of Light. Man. Uh, is it a moon? I think so. <laughs> that's no moon. Hey, you know, Spelljammer, that's no moon. That's a goddamn spider. Oh, yeah. The, the I, asteroid mm. spider things. Yeah. That was one of the things I saw when I was flipping through, and I was like, Ugh. you know, you you messed up when your DM whips this out, and you've been on the material and playing the whole game. <laughs> it's like, all right, you're here. Yeah. Uh, and you, and you that's are. you. Yep. And uh, you see this. Oh. <laughs> Roll edition. Yep. <laughs> and this. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> What's he doing here? It's so cool. Where you see, where you see this? Ew. I hate that. <laughs> all right. Big box. Mm -hmm. This is what we've been all been waiting for. The coolest part, this gigantic, awesome uh, platinum edition spell than our box. <laughs> I think it is heavier think we can than fit our you in this, Marcy? Um, <laughs> she could probably sit. She's so in interested. She's, she's, she just wanted to be in a little seat. She just wanted yeah. to do what we're doing. This box is really nice. It's like magnetic on the top. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Super high quality stuff. Is it more maps? It says oh, maps it's on like the a, Yeah, it's a, little, um, it's like a little binder. And it, which is, first of all, really cool for a DM organization. They've been doing this more often and I love it. But yeah, it has all of these quick map references. And the coolest thing about these, I don't know if you can tell, is they're a little, um, they're like laminated. So you can uh, write on them. You mm -hmm. can write notes on the back and erase them with like a dry erase marker. Mm -hmm. Super smart design. Love this. This ship looks Ooh. like, um, it's a damsel fly ship. It looks like a, like a bug. Damn, That's crazy. Bug. These ships are so cool. Um, and this is the hammerhead show. It's like you get the map for that, and then so you could put it down. Then you could have this on your side to, yeah. for quick reference, which is super awesome. Or you know you could always put them up, and they could be like your DM screen. Colton's been using these for which mm -hmm. light, and it is just there's just something different about putting a piece of art out and being like, boom, that's what he looks this like. Is what it and is. like my brain is like, mm -hmm. I am immersed. Like the amount of immersion this adds to the D and D game is just mm -hmm. insane. <laughs> just this dead, dead god. god. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that is so pretty. Ooh. And of course, the DM screen. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's very cool. And then on the other side, we've got ship encounters, wild space like encounters, astral, astral sea, sea encounters, wild space ship, rock of brawl, who's who. That's really neat. Um, mm -hmm. Ship types, all of their stats. Weapons they have. He's a member in good standing of the local league, Rock of Brawl 15. This is a cool little handout. Yeah. Platinum edition elements. Oh, very cool. So it's a little reference guide for, for what's in here. Visitors to the Rock of Brawl. <laughs> what is this? You will be jettisoned? It's a really cool code of conduct. It's like an advertisement? Yeah. Honest Aaron, Heron salvage ships. This, it's like a pamphlet. Yeah. There's coupons on the back. Coupons? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so good. I it's a, Reminds Man. me of um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally does. Performance today at 8, The Bloody Pirate, performed by the Traveling Cosmic Players. Oh, we'll, um, oh. we'll hand out. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a menu. The Happy Beholder. House of Brawl. It's like a letter. Xeno Termination Limited. It's a, is it is a contract? In wild space monstrosity hunting, no else will do. I want to go hunt monsters in wild space. Soon. I want to be a space pirate. This, this is one? making me want to play Spelljammer now. This is so neat. I told you that when we when we first started thinking about that we were going to play this game, I was like, I kind of want to play Ridley, like from Metroid, yeah. but with a gun. Mm -hmm. I want to be like, I want him to speak like a guy, like, hello. And then I want him to go, well, Elixir that heals wounds. This is such a good thing to give to your players too, because they're always like, can we get um, magic items? And you're just like, here. Here, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, so these are cool. These are, um, NPCs that are also characters that you can play as well. So if you wanted some starting characters, mm -hmm. you get them here. But also, if you don't want to do starting characters, you can use them as NPCs. That's Wild theirs. Space Tales from the Warehouse. So Beetle and Grimm's creates, uh, uh, they do this with most of their, um, their boxes. Mm -hmm. They make some uh, of their own encounters yeah. that you can run in the game. And, mm -hmm. and then, you also get the book, the three books. So yeah. it comes, um, uh, Spelljammer has has three separate books and you can get them in these um, pamphlet style. It's not a hardcover. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what was really great about when I was running Icewind Dale mm -hmm. was that I could uh, kind of, I could do this. Do that right there. It's beautiful. Now I can have more space and I don't have to have the book all the way open. Mm -hmm. It's a solar dragon egg. Yeah. Man, that's awesome. 
Ew! Look at him. Ew. Goodness. Uh, and the and the player's guide. These are spells that are unique to the the, the set. Air bubble this is a spell. And create spell jamming helm. Mm -hmm. Man. And just on these really cool cards, which have like these space backgrounds and stuff. Yeah. And then these are um, magic items. Oh. And some that I think are unique to the set, and then some that are just, um, you know, the item. It says, Beetle and Grimm's depiction of what a wild space ori might look like. Hand this rotating metal ori to your players when they first get one. I don't know what that is, but Neither this is cool. You did, uh, you did some good space deeds. You get, get a medal for it. Metal, that's cool. Yeah. <gasps> it's a ring of shooting stars. That is... I, yeah. mm -hmm. That is just like the game. That is it, what it looks like in the it DMs is guide. Sheesh. Oh, I know what's in here. What's in there? Oh, it's, it's a the coin of coins of completion. completion. We got these for Icewind Dale after we completed the campaign. Uh, Beetle and Grimm sent us some, but you get you get one yeah. for um, for for getting the box, mm -hmm. and it's just a little coin, real coin. When you it's made out of metal, yeah. And uh, it, when you complete the campaign, you can you can. Hold on to it and remember the campaign that you, that you played in. And you it's can buy cool. um, more on their website. And mm -hmm. I think the more you buy, buy, the cheaper they are. Yeah, it's like so a little you bit get a of little discount. Bundle, yeah. Which is pretty We've cool. also got art and stat blocks and things like that. So you can hang them over the DM screen and show off uh, different pieces of art and monsters. And Ooh, I think we've that got one's them. Very cool. Right? Thank you so much to Beetle and Grimms. And you know, if you can, go get yourself one, especially if you're going to run Spelljammer. Mm -hmm. This is really high quality stuff. We've played. Uh, Ghost of Saltmarsh, Wild mm -hmm. Beyond the Witchlight, and Icewind Dale, um, and Curse of Strahd with their boxes before, yeah. and we love it. They've also got lots of other boxes for other things. Like they have one for they have Pathfinder. Critical Role, they have Pathfinder, uh, they've got a Dragon Lance one as well, which we're going to also do an unboxing of pretty mm -hmm. soon. They've got uh, Descent into Avernus. They've even got Magic the Gathering stuff. There's going to be a like a Phyrexia one that just came out. All right, you um, you you step you step into a room. Uh, you, you're aboard a, a ship, a, right. a spell jammer, as mm -hmm. it would be, and uh, you go below decks, and uh, you hear some sort of chittering sound, and you see, you see this, you, you oh. see, you see that. Hello, friend. And it's also him. Um, wh what do you do? I say, um, hello, friend. Because he I... goes. Rah! Oh, I die. <laughs> Was that funny? Okay, bye. Bye. Say bye. <laughs> Tell him bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs>